the Clark School of Engineering actually started as the Mechanical Engineering Department in 1894. So the Mechanical Engineering Department was the first and only department, and all of the departments came out of it. When I first started in engineering school, the chairman that hired me was Professor Shreve, and the faculty that uh, Professor Shreve brought in were a broader group. They came from interests that were more modern, and I think that that slowly changed the department from a, what I say, a, a sleepy classical department to a more modern department. When I came out of high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And Marilyn gave me the track and the vision and the direction. I think that's the beauty of the mechanical engineering department. I get such a general and wide area that I can study. And now I'm becoming more and more capable. I understand things around me in the world better. And I really have a passion for engineering. What I learned in mechanical engineering was how to solve problems and how to move into new disciplines. I think that equips you for the real world. I think the biggest part of what makes our curriculum so strong is the application. I help build a race car. I machine. I make autonomous vehicles. I get to actually do things that I never would have thought possible. And I get to make innovations and do things that other people wouldn't have thought possible. You get really strong basics, but then you have the opportunity to apply it. Every mechanical engineering student is required to take the capstone course. It really requires them to think and be creative and work together to come up with a solution that actually has a path forward somewhere. Often they reflect their experiences in the world and uh, uh, their creativity in coming up with solutions to those experiences. Engineering students have really been pushing to do even greater things. They want to be able to look back on their time at Maryland say, this is an amazing thing that I accomplished. I'm proud of it, and it's made me a strong and successful engineer. We've had several notable faculty over the years. George Urban was in our department, and he is a very prominent figure and referred to as the father of fracture mechanics. Another very prominent figure in our department is Dr. Mote. We brought him as professor of mechanical engineering. He became president of the university. Another prominent figure in our department is Dr. John Kim. He, of course, has supported a whole number of professorships in his name. It's so impressive to see the laboratories and the facilities and the opportunities the students have. The University of Maryland is in a great location. We're right here in the middle of Maryland, D.C., and Virginia, and the technology corridors of those. There's so much industry available, and the university does a wonderful job being connected to it. The depth of education, the capstone projects, the labs, and the work that they are doing is moving our industry into new areas and new places that we never envisioned we would be going. When you engage more people with all different backgrounds, you're going to have a stronger team that can go off and be more innovative and solve more problems. But it's extremely important for women. We have a voice. We're bright. We have a lot to contribute, a lot to add. And through mechanical engineering, we can do that. It's important for me to give back because I want to see other students and other kids get those opportunities. It's satisfying to give back and see something that you were such a part of to continue to grow and to move in different directions and to get better. As a visiting committee member, it's our responsibility to bring that industry knowledge and partnership we really want to make sure students are trained in the technologies that companies are looking for today. You need to have that mix where you're connected to things that are happening today, but you're also really sowing those seeds of the future. The faculty is so involved in the future. Yes, they teach the fundamentals and the foundation, that's key. But at the same time, generating the creative thinking to really be disruptive and push technology. One of the new courses that we've introduced is the Engineering for Social Change. How does engineering impact society both negatively and positively? What are the unintended consequences? And I think that that is the future because we need to reach everybody. The stuff that they're working on today absolutely will revolutionize the world five, ten years from now. So there's a wonderful opportunity with what students can take and learn here that they can then use to launch a much bigger career.
Mechanical is where design happens. In Mechanical, we build beyond what you can imagine. When the world can't provide what we need, we create it.